Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about a question raised by one of my viewers regarding uh, issue of shares. The question is relating to how to record uh, when shares are allotted on pro rata basis. So uh, I have uh, selected one question with regard to uh, share issue when shares are allotted on pro rata basis. So let's jump into the session and see how we can solve this question. A company plans to issue 20,000 ordinary shares at a par value of 10 per share on 1st January 2020. Money will be collected as follows. Application money $5, allotment money $3, first and final call money $2. At the closing date, the issue was over subscribed by 6,000 shares. The directors rejected incomplete application for 1,000 shares with money. The balance allotted on pro rata basis of four shares for every five shares applied for. Okay, so this is the very important part. Let's discuss. The balance money was kept to be settled at the allotment. Okay, so you are required to show the ledger accounts and the journal entries, ledger accounts and the journal entries. Okay, now let's move on to the uh, question. Now application money, as you can see, application money is five. Now, first of all, we need to see uh, we have to see uh, how much of money uh, the company has received at the time of uh, receiving the application. Okay, so uh, application money is five dollars. So how much of application the company has received? So you can see from this question at the closing date the issue was oversubscribed by six thousand ordinary shares. So which means the company uh, is planning to issue twenty thousand ordinary shares but they received 20,000 plus six, which is 26,000, okay? So oversubscribed by 6,000 means 26,000 applications were received. So therefore, application money will be $5 times 26,000, so which is going to be uh, 130,000 US dollars received, okay? Now, the directors rejected incomplete application for 1,000 shares, so of this, the directors have rejected 1,000 shares uh, because those shares were incomplete. Okay, so when you reject, you have to return back the money to the applicants. So 1,000 times five dollars will be five thousand. Okay, so this has to be uh, returned back to the applicant. So therefore, now 25,000 applications received, and the money remaining with the company is 125,000. Okay, so now the company has made a decision to allot these 25,000 shares uh, on the basis of, uh, on pro rata basis of four shares for every five share applied for. So those who have applied, those who have applied five shares were given how many shares? Four shares were given. So now 25,000 shares received, 25,000 share uh, applications received. So those who have applied five were given four. So how many shares would have been allotted? So 25,000 divided by five times four will be, you will get how much, how, how much of shares were allotted. So that is going to be 20,000, okay? So 20,000. So therefore, if you, if you prepare a, okay, now we can, Okay, so applications received, applications, 26,000 received, okay, uh, money collected, we can say money collected uh, at the rate of $5, so 130,000, then 1,000 shares were rejected at the rate of 5 so which is 5,000. So the company has now $125,000 and 25,000 applications. Okay. Now these shares were uh, allotted on pro rata basis. Those who have applied for five were given 24. So therefore 20,000 shares were allotted. Now when you take the application money on this basis, you should have received how much? 
you should have received for 20,000 at the rate of $5, so 100,000, right? The application money should have been 100,000, okay? But how much of money is lying with the company? Now, 125,000. So therefore, the company has excess cash of 25,000, okay? So the allotted shares are 20,000. If you calculate the application money, should have been 100,000 with the company. But the company already received 125,000. So therefore, the company has excess money of 25,000 now. Now, if you take the allotment, allotment, the allotment money should be 20,000 at the rate of 3 per share. So which should be how much? 60,000 to be collected. But since 25,000 already received, so you have to collect only how much? 60,000 minus 25,000, you should collect 35,000. Okay, so this is how you need to record the uh, allotment money. So first of all, you need to record application money received 26,000. So we, are, we have to debit the bank account and credit application and allotment account. Then the second entry should be to uh, reject the 1,000 uh, applications, which is uh, 5,000. So what you need to do is you need to credit the bank and you have to debit application and allotment account. Then uh, collecting of allotment money, for 20,000 because uh, this was prorated, pro 20,000 times three, uh, $3, which is going to be 60,000 allotment money to be received. But since we have excess money, the 35,000 has to be recorded. So which is bank debit, credit, application and allotment account. So if you can solve this uh, particular uh, area, so the entries will be very easy. So first of all, we look at the uh, journal entries based on this. The first journal entry will be uh, receiving application money. So you have to debit the bank account. Bank account should be debited with uh, 130,000 US dollars. So this is what we received. And credit the application, application and allotment account. You need to credit 130,000. So this is the first journal entry. The second journal entry will be to uh, rejecting the 1,000 applications. So you need to debit the application and allotment account by 5,000 and credit the bank account by 5,000. Then uh, you are receiving the allotment money. How much uh, in this case you will be receiving? 35,000, not 60,000 because uh, after deducting the excess money received on application. So that amount will be bank account debit 35,000 application and allotment account credit 35,000. So thereafter, you need to transfer the application and allotment account money to the ordinary share capital account. So application and allotment account debit, how much you will be transferring now? Now uh, 20,000 times 5 100,000, this is application money, 20,000 times 3 will be how much? 60,000. Okay, so 160,000 has to be transferred to the application and allotment account. So, uh, to the ordinary share capital account. So, 160,000 debit and ordinary share capital account will be credited 160,000. Okay, then the fifth entry will be to record the first and final call, which is going to be how much? Which is going to be $2 per share. Okay, so 20,000 times $2 is going to be 40,000. Okay, so 40,000 has to be recorded now. So when you record, uh, the bank account will be debited with uh, now 20,000 times 2, right? 40,000. So 40,000 will be debited. First and final call, account credit, 40,000. Finally, this first and final call account will be transferred to the ledger account, uh, ordinary share capital account, which is ordinary share capital, credit 40,000. 
okay so this is how you record the journal entries now let's look at the uh, ledger accounts let's look at the ledger accounts we need the bank account first of all we need the bank account then we need application and allotment account application and allotment account then we need first and final call account then ordinary share capital account first of all we will record uh, the number of shares received 26000 times 5 which is going to be 130000 so 130000 debit bank account okay application and allotment account so your yeah, application and allotment account credit 130000 bank then rejecting 1000 shares at the rate of 5 which is going to be 5000 so when you reject you need to refund the money credit bank account and application and allotment account should be debited the bank okay then uh, 25000 shares were prorated and were given 20000 so we received we should have received 100000 uh, on application but we received 125000 so therefore 25000 excess cash is available so now receiving allotment money on 20000 at the rate of 360000 but since we have excess cash you should receive how much 35000 so you need to record this 35000 so application and allotment 35000 application and allotment account bank 35000 now uh, we need to transfer uh, the entire amount received on allot application and allotment to the order share capital account so basically we have allotted 20000 okay so we received application money at the rate of 5 and allotment money at the rate of 3 altogether 8 so 160000 should be transferred to the ordinary share capital account so you can say ordinary share capital 160000 order share capital account application and allotment 1 60,000 okay so by transferring this account will be zero so this is 165 this is also 165,000 now uh, first and final call which is 20,000 times 2 which is going to be 40,000 when you receive the first and final call money you debit the bank account and credit the first and final call 40,000 then finally you transfer this 40000 to the ordinary share capital account this is first and final 40000 so thereby this account will be zero so ordinary share capital account will be having a final balance of 200000 so balance carried forward 200000 here how much money so we received uh, 165 200 and 5000 205,000, 5,000 rejected and eventually you had a cash balance of 200,000. So this 200,000 matches with the ordinary share capital account which is fully paid. Okay. So this is the answer for this particular question. I'll see you soon with another video. Until then, bye for now.